I mean, she just, look here. I'm gonna put a fence right down there. Whew. Turn me on. We're on? Yep. Oh, we're already on, good. All right, we are on the side of the Incredibox building, warehouse. Get right here and shoot down this right. I ought to get her and just waller around in it. All right, so what you got, what, what we have here is a failure to communicate. You ever watch Cool Hand Luke? No. You gotta watch Cool Hand Luke. All right, so right down there is our secondary power. So let me explain to you guys. This is a growth. Look at all the dirt right here. We have had rain for probably four or five days. These guys have probably only missed one or two days due to the rain. They have been working. So let me tell you what's already installed here. It was more than I thought. So we do have all of our mainline sewer. That's what all the green pipes are about, all right? Then we already have our primary power. So primary means it comes off of that transformer, right? Into the ground, comes over and stubs up. We've got seven transformers. That's the big green boxes on the ground. And so what happens is we have to dig that ditch, ditch 48 inches deep. Then the city come over here, Newport Utility come over and they put the big primary power line in there and it comes up to where the transformers will sit. That is in the ground and done. Then what happens is we do a secondary power. Secondary power is a ditch. We run all the way down and from every single house. You see them pipes coming out? So every one of those houses, that's secondary power. So that pipe runs from there over to the primary. Okay, so on that transformer, you see them, I like them, it's all underground here. It goes underground, so the secondary comes up in that transformer. All that's done, we probably got, we got dishes full of water. I'm talking 30 inches full of water, we gotta pump them out. So these guys normally would not work under these conditions. They would wait till it dried out, wouldn't do it. This is what we had to do because we wanted to get this done. Them guys have been working in the rain, the mud, that, that ditch right there is completely full and it's 30 inches deep. All right, when that's in, we have the state inspector comes out, we gotta pump it all dry, get it all cleaned out. He'll come out, inspect it, we backfill it with gravel, and then we compact it. And what happens is when all this dirt's wet, it'll compact and it won't compact because it's too wet. So we may have to come back and compact most of it with gravel, which costs even more money, but we're wanting to stay on this timeline. Then what we do is then we come back after all this is leveled off, we'll come back and dig the final ditch for our water line. Now our freeze, our freeze, uh, our, our, was it freeze line or thawing line is 12 inches here in Tennessee. So when you're living up north, it could be 48 inches or the, cause the ground will freeze that deep. Here it's only 12. So we just have to have our water line 12 inches. Then we go back and we dig our water lines in and then we're done. Then Yump will come back in here and it won't take very long as we'll cut our roads. He'll skim off about six inches of this dirt and where all the parking is for everybody skim all that out of here then we put a fabric down and we load gravel on it and we compact it so that way the gravel in the yard are all the same height you don't have this pile of gravel and in your yard down everything looks beautiful and uniform and nice believe it or not we're doing awesome i know it looks terrible out here but i've always said it's got to look bad before it can look good time frame people are saying all right randy when are you going to get done with the grow i don't know you can see we're trying I would just say this, I know we tried to get you in before Christmas and we're doing our best. We have got probably 40 homes built or more and we're building our 10 by 20s. We should be done with them next week. Our 12 by 20s will come up, we'll be going. We're gonna be behind. We're gonna be a little bit behind. This will probably all finish up, I'm hoping in January. I talked to Yump today because of the wet. We're gonna to try to dry it out and use some things, but that's just the way it is. So if you are, do not plan yourself, say, hey, Randy said we're gonna be in here January 1 or 2nd or 3rd. Plan the worst case scenario. Push it as far back as you can. That way, if we're done, you guys can come on, all right? You cannot argue with Mother Nature. We have got all our supplies. We got all our meter centers, we got our ground rods, we got our transformers, we got pipe, we got sewer in. We've got all our stuff. Guys are working in the rain, so we're, and the guys are building homes. So on our schedule, we're 100% rolling. There you go. I don't know anybody else that can build 72 homes, 72 lots in about four months. Now, Nuts. Somebody mentioned that um, they may 
because of circumstances in their life, right? They might have to not take <clears throat> possession of their home, and that would free up a lot here. How that's right? Some, because I know I have people calling me all, every day. Oh, you sold out. Oh, you sold out. Here, come here so if, she can if, get you. Yep. If that happens, and I think, and it's changing by the hour. Yeah. But we might have three people, and again, I don't hold us to this. Right. But we might have three people that, for whatever reason, they couldn't can't fulfill. take possession. Right. We've built the homes. Okay. Okay. So if somebody is out there and you are interested in the grove in here and the grove, um, what do you got? Do you know what they are? Yes. So I've got an eight by sixteen in credit box. Just a regular plain in credit box. I've got a standard one. Okay. All right. And then I believe we're going to have an eight by six in credit box, eight by sixteen in credit box with solar. It's already built. It's, it's already built. There. So these or are not so so if you come in here oh, down. you may not have an oh with oh an extra with an extra, with oh, an extra, it has an battery. extra battery so th so those prices in those homes are set all you would do if if you're good with that house and that choice we might be able to work something out where you would have a place to live here okay but you wouldn't have a choice you can't change the model you can't say I don't want it's the already solar been bought and built you're and just going to take possession of their yeah. home and what okay. they had in it yeah. and then I believe uh, as of about forty five minutes ago but don't don't hold me to this. There is a, a a ten by twenty. Okay. Okay, um, and that we're still working out the details on that. So, the bottom line is we may have as of today as, as many as three homes that are built that Two, are eight ready by to go on the grow. So this is what I would suggest: if you think you are interested and you want to move here and you're okay with that, email us as soon as possible because we're going to go first person, second person. Yeah. I'm just going to go through the list email us and we can give you all the details I, I, we're not going to go into the price right here and all that but that price will include the home yeah that you're taking possession of and in that price will include the lot and even though you weren't one of the original yeah if you end up taking possession you well it's so okay with you rent. we're going to get free rent two years. two years free rent so you won't pay anything hey now you know what's probably going to happen and i'm going to speak for you guys they're going to say i want the 16 foot right but yeah. can I take it? Can I change it to a twenty? No, because the homes are already built. Or we're really doing that person who's backing out who can't take possession. Instead of making them have to figure out a way to sell it, we're going to help them. If somebody calls us and we can fit somebody else's need, and they want to take possession of this yeah. home, we're going to sell it for exactly what this other person bought it for, and you take possession of that home. I can't, we can't change anything, Randy. We don't yeah. have the ability to do that. Um, so we can give you all the detail on what those choices are, yeah. but you can't add, subtract, change the size. I don't want the solar. It's already built. We would lose money as it is. Yeah. We're not making a lot of money here. Right. So, so you just take possession of that person's home. It's about efficiency, quick, done, boom. Yeah. And, 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 and I'm, I'm serious about if you think you want to live on the Grove, email us as soon as this video comes out yeah and we're not promising anything and then those numbers are changing are you working this weekend i am I'll be, I'll be <laughs> you better be. i'll be working all weekend good so so send us an email yeah and we will do our best to see if that's a good fit and okay. hopefully somebody who really wanted to live here who has who missed the deadline it's a second chance you don't maybe. have to work this weekend but i just say no, we're going to get emails probably from I'm it because yeah. this is really cool this you know this thing sold out in, in i think three weeks Three weeks. So exactly I came up with three models. I came up with 72 lots. I came up with the size of the lots, the design of the lots, and all that stuff. And then when we broadcast it out there, gone. And I know there were people that were disappointed and kept emailing us yeah. and calling us, can I please get into the Grove? This might be your second chance. Yeah. We'll cool. See. Thank yeah. you. Okay. All right. Well, that's the update for the Grove, you guys. You guys can see it. This is it. We'll bring another update during the week. We will constantly do this. I'll do probably one or two videos a week showing the Grove and the progress and what's happening. All right. So just hang on to your hats. It's coming. It'll all work out. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe and thumbs, thumbs up, up. <laughs> and notifications. All right. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.